What's poppin', baby? It's your boy OG Pop. We in the building at What's Poppin' Podcast. Uh, we're sponsored here by Gray Nova Cinema Studios, Open World Films. We got Canna Montana in the building today doing, uh, you know, uh, background work as well. It's poppin' up in here. You hear me? I got J.T. Allen, the one in the building. You heard? They say they don't believe in R&B no more. But guess what? It's a platform right here that we still got love for R&B singers. We got love for uh, rappers. We got love for not only, uh, we got love for poets. We got love for anybody who is making some type of music, even content creators. I love them skit people that do the <laughs> co the comedy stuff. Uh, what's her name? The brat, the little one. Uh, talk about, uh, you do too much with Boom. Yeah, we got to get them up in here. I got to see them soon. But uh, look, we represented out of Chicago. My man come from what? The West Side? South Side of Chicago. South Side? Right? Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. we might have, hold on. Don't fuck with him. Don't be <laughs> nothing to him. Well, that's, that's, uh, that's what's up. Man, tell the people, man, what's up? Man, I'm Julian T. Allen, man, AKA the one. You know, Team John Hill. Flyboy Entertainment, Singles Film Entertainment. We doing the big Skyline Radio. My fucking family. You know, I got my dad in here. Shit, this is a moment for me right here. What's poppin' radio we here? So, uh, you sing, you act, you got projects out. Mm -hmm. How long you been making music? Uh, from what I understand, Pops is your inspiration. Yes, indeed. And the reason you do this, right? Yes, indeed. How long you been doing it? Well, I first jumped into the scene probably when I was like 14. <coughs> You know how it is, man. I had a uh, fucking Macintosh <laughs> probably down there, a computer that, that was in the house. Um, I had my I had uh, my headphones from Radio Shack. You know how it was back when you was young. Cool at it in Mama's pantry, telling my homies I was at the studio, you know, getting it in. Um, yeah, I've been doing this since I was like 14, man, you know. I've been there. Jay, tell me, Jay, tell me some of your, your favorite, uh, you know, your inspirations. Was it Kells? Was it, you know, you're from the city, so. Man, R. Kelly, Michael Jackson, uh, Crucial Conflict, definitely had a big impact on the city. Uh, I was inspired by, you know, my, the friends around, man, I grew up in music. I used to travel with my pops a lot. he do shows. He's a drummer also, so, you know, I was inspired. One day he had to go to work and he left a tape on the table. It was uh, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Moonwalker? That, yeah, that was my shit. I popped it in, I was rambling, you know, doing shit I wasn't supposed to do as a kid. <laughs> and uh, I just, I just I seen somebody amazing. I watched Amazement. I said, I want to do that. That was Michael Jackson. Um, I just love the impact that it had you know, for people. And, um, you know, I'm like, you know, it was just, I was just musically inclined, you know? Shit, you tell guys your plans, he gonna laugh at you. I didn't know. You also been doing some acting. I yeah. seen you with some uh, recent projects. You wanna tell us uh, the name of the projects and a little bit about that? Man, right now, y'all need to go check out Rosen from Billy Ray Valentine's, who's a big brother and great inspiration to me. Y'all need to check out the Yotis. Salute my brother, Mr. Woboy. That's my brother, 100 grand. I love you. We got Masquerade Trap just dropped. Salute Linda, Linda Stewart. Billy Ray Valentine movie, of course. Cap and Gown. Salute Bo G. I'm in that. Uh, check out Vulture City, Marcus Carotas. I'm in that. Man, win for losing, though. Win for losing, baby. Out right now, baby. I wish I was a part of that. Man. <laughs> Little Caesar, y'all gotta check that out. You did. What's Man. some? Who are some of your favorite female vocalists that you that you're like, damn, she, she can blow, blow. Mary J. Blige, man. Mary J. Mary J. Blige. She uh spoke from the heart. I who, love real people. Who else? Give me a couple more females. Man, female artists, man. I love Anita Baker. Mm. You know, I love Kim Burrell. I listen to her for inspiration and motivation when I'm down. Uh, man, that's a lot, man. We got. 
B.B. Wine and just a lot, man. I, I'm listening to a lot. And I'm old school, too. So I love Diana Ross. I love Gladys Knights. You know, like, those type of people that I listened to growing up. Okay. Um, yeah, what's popping, man? We uh, also have, you know, a lot of younger people that be following pop, you know? Yes, indeed. Uh, for the young, inspiring artists that want to be in movies, that want to, um, you know, do shows and maybe get around the crucial conflicts or the, the Bo G's and the uh, Will Gates. Give them a, a positive word, man, on how to stay consistent, man, and uh, don't give up. I mean, what's helped man, you to uh, uh, elevate? Man, uh, the way to elevate and the way to move in this business, you got to believe in yourself. You got to be headstrong. You got to be smart. You got to know uh, the difference from right and wrong. Um, when you're striving to be something, man, you got to give it your all. You can't have fast. You got to be like serious about what you do, and uh, you got to know, you got to take no shit, but also be, you know, able to listen. You got to listen, you know, but listen real good. You know what I'm saying to what people are saying and what they're trying to do to you, because when you when you got something special, you know what I'm saying in the game, people are gonna try to move how they move, but you just got to be headstrong and. Keep going, never give up, never stop. Um, expand your horizons, um, but just be smart. Like I say, no right from wrong. Keep going, keep pushing, be self-motivative. And um, you know, you do what you love and you never be working a day in your life. You know what I'm saying? So never jump into something that's not for you. You know what I'm saying? And if you, if you feel that, that it's for you, that's what it is. This music is my passion. This is what I love. This is why I do it. So what you know? What do you love? What is it that you care about? Keep going, though. Keep going. Never stop. Never stop. You know. That's what's popping. Surround yourself with great people too. True that. I do this thing, man. Why you know? Ask the guest. You know what I'm saying? They're my segment. Three names. I'm gonna throw three names at you. And I just want to, you know, you tell me no comment if you want. You can take that route. You know right. what I'm saying? But first thing that comes to mind, okay, about this person. Number one I want to say is Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx, talented. He had a great impact on the man. He was, he's a funny cat. Um, you, could, you can relate to his story. Jamie Foxx is one of my favorites. Um, growing up, I was a grandma baby. Uh, you know, I had ups and downs in my life, but whatever I was going through in life, I was around my baby. And Jamie Foxx was one of those. I uh, recently just lost my grandma in January of this year. And, uh, you know, like I say, you know, I'm grabbing my baby. Jamie Foxx, talented, great person, great singer, great artist. Uh, I love what he does for up, the upcomers. He always want to see somebody shine. So, you know, caring, loving, humble. Our prayers go out to you, Jamie. We know we, we hear you recovering. We miss you, And our you, prayers, man. you know, are with you. We fighting with you. And we love you, Jamie, here at What's Poppin' Podcast. We missing you, my dog. Tory Lanez, baby, Tory Lanez. Man. Impactful. Uh, he was he was he was a great artist for the culture for for this generation. Um, he was a talented person who who definitely could sing, rap. You know, I met him at MacArthur's actually out west. I was around like twenty some, like about twenty three. He was a great person. Uh, I actually, when I meet these type of people, man, I, I ask them things like, you know, what do I got to do and things like that. He was one of those that. Keep going, you know what I'm saying? He gave me great advice. Troy Lane's over talented person. Uh, you know, very smart guy too, if you don't know. Like I said, I met I had a chance to meet him for just a couple of minutes, but I felt it. He was he was he was shocked from what he told me, you know what I'm saying? He just got caught up. He just got caught up. I mean, people get caught up in in shit when you're in this industry. It's it's a lot. Uh, we praying for him. He gonna make it out this shit, you know what I'm saying? But you know it gets it gets tough. 
You know what I'm saying? Just it's rough for him right now. Yeah, it's rough for him. You just got to be careful. You know what I'm saying? Have, allegedly you meet, shot that girl in the foot. Do I think he shot the girl? No, in the I said he shouldn't have, have allegedly shot that girl in the foot. Man, he ain't shot that girl in the damn foot. Uh, she stepped on a piece of glass and <laughs> she stunning. She stunning, man. Megan stunning. He stunning. I, she, but she I don't know. Under the bus. I don't know shit. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know shit. Hey, look, man, we're going to keep it moving right here on What's Father Podcast. Uh, last, but definitely not least, Chris Breezy, baby. What you thinking about my boy Chris Brown? Man, that's that's one of my favorite artists right now. He's the closest thing to Michael Jackson we got. I love Usher, but Chris Brown is a great person. I love his real... I lo he's, a humble, he's a humble dude, but he's great. I mean, you know... So you think he smacked the shit out of Usher? No, I think he smacked him. No, I don't think, I don't it was think just a toss that shit happened. It you ain't seen that shit? At nah. the birthday party? Was it that Usher and uh, Chris Brown got into it? I ain't paid too much attention to it. Yeah. 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 Chris yeah. Brown, if I was, Chris Brown probably put the flu flops on him. I don't know. Yeah, but, I think, you know, I think, I think it's, he it's would've got Usher. So we don't know. I but. think he would've got Usher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chris B, Chris Breezy don't fit, uh, you know, throwing the full fives. Shout out to Usher, man. He a, he a, he a great dude, too, man. Uh, man, stop the violence. <laughs> so what we got coming up? What's the name of this joint right here? Uh, which, joint? which joint? The one we finna uh, play right now. This uh, this joint we about to get into is King. It's, it's, it's King. something that's very dear to me. You know, uh, spoke about my life, man. It's the um, soundtrack to my movie, Rosen, that's out right now. Uh, salute to Brother Ray Valentine, single film entertainment. Uh, you know, that's what I'm enjoy y'all need to check out. That's what it is. Tell that's them where to go follow you on all social media platforms, Julian, the YouTube channel, all that good stuff. Julian T. Allen, everything. Julian T. Allen, everything. Just Google me. I'm going to pop up. You're going to see me. And uh, you're going to see a little bit about my life. It's gonna be some fake love and bitches acting like they like me Gotta stay focused for them haters that ain't doubting me Living them nights I cried cause I thought the Lord ain't hear me Hard on ice cause niggas want no day but tend to be Tunnel vision, I kept my eyes off these distractions Always reminded not every action needs reaction Surrounding myself with all the ones that kept me up Now look at me today, it's a fucking celebration 